Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about how to move and function throughout your wedding day while wearing your wedding dress. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, and wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal, located in Los Angeles, California. I am completely and utterly obsessed with what I get to do for a living. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. This week's topic was inspired by a subscriber Alex specifically wrote in asking how to properly walk when changing directions, sitting and getting in or outside of a car, walking on grass with a long train, etc. Essentially, how to move comfortably on wedding day and maneuver. This is a really common, common question. And last week we spoke about how to properly use the restroom in a wedding dress. And this week it just seemed natural to phase right into this week's video. Various styles of dresses are going to require different types of movement and maneuvers for you to be able to functionally move throughout your wedding day. This is something that I have told many of my brides in the past, especially when they ask me how they are going to do a lift in their first dance or a twirl that they've been practicing with their fiance, how they're going to maneuver the dance with their dress as well. So for that example and for any other scenarios, essentially you want to practice getting in and out of cars. I know that sounds kind of silly, but you want to practice. So if you're wearing a big ball gown, I recommend that you purchase a petty coat off of Amazon. They're not very expensive, but purchase a petticoat, a big full petticoat, practice getting in and out of a car. You'll quickly learn that if you are in some sort of a sedan or an SUV, it's not going to be very easy to get in and out of a car if you have a ball gown. I oftentimes recommend a larger, maybe a party bus, a limo, something that you're going to be able to fit through the car door with your gown, especially if you're wearing a really, really big ball gown. Now on the reverse, a fitted dress, I recommend doing a super skin tight. It could be shapewear, um, but some sort of a pencil skirt of some kind. So you can feel what it's going to feel like to have your legs super, super restricted. If you have boning in the top of your dress, you definitely want to try a corset so you can feel how you're going to sit and move with these restrictions. We are so accustomed to wearing clothing that stretches and molds to our bodies. Wedding dresses are far more confining and they really restrict you in certain movements and motions. I don't recommend practicing walking, sitting, dancing a ton in your actual wedding dress because the more you move around in it, you are then picking up dust. Even if a bridal store is super, super clean, the floors still get very dusty and you are making your dress dirty. So the more you're in it, stretching it, moving, all of that, you are putting your dress at risk. This is why I recommend getting things that are similar to your gown so that you can kind of replicate or mimic. If you're super concerned about how you're going to maneuver, you can also ask your stylist to specifically show you how you're going to sit in it and how to move around comfortably. A few more things for you to consider here as well. For walking in grass, you'll definitely want a block heel or even a heel guard of some kind, which I can link for you below in our Amazon store. Highly recommend it so that you're not sinking. When you're walking in grass or just walking on any dirt surface, concrete, anything outdoors prior to your ceremony because that is where most of your pictures are being taken, you want people to hold your gown up so anybody who's around your dresser, stylist perhaps, or even your bridesmaids, groomsmen, anyone that's around that is able to assist you in lifting the dress so it's not dragging on the floor is highly, highly recommended. I also have talked about in previous videos for alterations, properly hemming the length of your gown, which you want the length of the gown to be grazing the floor. Going back to what Alex asked about moving side to side and maneuvering, you want to kind of think about how models walk on the runway. 
When a model walks, they walk with their knee out first. This is done so when your knee kind of hits the fabric, it's pushing it away from your foot so you're not rolling over and stepping on fabric. So maneuvering side to side, kind of give it a gentle kick. You'll feel when you walk on carpet and grass, it grabs the fabric differently than if you are walking on a hardwood floor or a tiled floor where everything's going to just glide. So moving around is definitely something to consider. It's not easy, you aren't used to it but I will tell you give yourself an hour in your dress and you will know exactly how to maneuver if you're super concerned you can absolutely do the things that I mentioned you can purchase items that replicate your overall feel for wedding day just so that you can kind of get a taste for what it's going to feel like and that way you're able to make the proper accommodations have the proper people on standby to assist you to move throughout the day with the comfort and ease every step of the way I hope that you found this video helpful for more videos and tips like this please be sure to tune Tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.